How y'all doing? Hi guys, my name is Juliana and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today it's time for another movie commentary and this one is requested. I got two really good movie recommendations so I posted a poll on Instagram to see which one you would like. And as you can see by the title, today I'm reacting to the original Carrie. Big shout out to Daniel for recommending this movie to me. I usually don't do recommendations, but I wanted to see Carrie anyway, so why not in front of the camera? This will probably be my final horror movie reaction of this year, but don't worry, next year I will be back with more first time reacting to videos. And next year is like one month away, so yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. Without further ado, let's watch it. Okay, so this is our Carrie, I assume. Bitch. You eat shit. Damn! That's intense for like a volleyball game. Y'all pissed because of that? Don't worry, Carrie, I got you. Who else got picked last in gym class? Ooh! Nudity, okay. Wow, why do a lot of these older horror movies have a lot of nudity in them? Like, you can see the whole thing. They didn't have this scene in the like 2013 remake i think actually really enjoyed that remake especially because of chloe grace moret's performance i think she nailed it as scary but then again i haven't seen the original so maybe y'all think it's trash in comparison i don't know that's so fucked up i can why would you tease someone like that Girl really thought she was dying and they are just laughing at her. Okay, all these girls deserve what they get in the end. I'm just saying. Slap her out of it. <laughs> oh damn, she actually did it. Ooh. Okay, so that's where it begins. Her telekinesis is showing. Interesting. That girl kind of looks like Sydney Sweeney, or is it just me? Imagine bullying someone for having a period and thinking that they're dying. Like, bruh, I, how are you that low life? Come in, Cassie. Carrie. Take care of yourself, Cassie. Sorry about this incident, Cassie. It's Carrie! You better say your name right, goddammit. <laughs> She doesn't do this on purpose, right? Because I thought that she didn't know she had powers until later on in the movie. Mrs. White, how have you been, Mrs. Mills? Spreading the gospel of God's salvation through Christ's blood. Yes, of course. I have the mom is weird. The teenager's path to salvation through the cross of Jesus. I can't <laughs> She's really weird and kind of creepy. I pray you find Jesus. <laughs> Damn. One thing I don't like, or hmm, not don't like, but kind of question is why they put Christianity in such a villainous tone. You know, I believe that they are the only Christians in this movie and they are cuckoo, like they are made to be these weird ass women who are the bottom of the barrel, you know? Like no one wants to hang out with them, everyone thinks they are crazy. Maybe I'm reading into it too much, but yeah. Woman. <laughs> well, damn. Was she supposed to stay a girl forever then? <laughs> How is it a sin to get a period? Like, is every girl a sinner then? Like, I don't get that. This bitch, oh, I can't stand her. She is abusing. Like, she isn't even listening to Carrie. And that's the most annoying thing ever. What? Where? Where is the sin? I read the Bible. Where is the sin in all of this? This woman is clearly deranged and abusive. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait till Carrie develops her powers and just. The actress is selling this so well. Like, she's doing a great job. Poor Carrie, though. Like, she's already bullied in school. So you think. A, at least at home she's safe, right? Because home is supposed to be your safe haven. But it's even worse at home. Like she gets abused physically and mentally by her mom and that's just not okay. Oh, shit. The mom is about to think the devil is in the house. What was that noise? What noise? Didn't she see the broken mirror? It was right there. <laughs> And that could be enough. <laughs> Wait, are we supposed to believe these you are high schoolers? <laughs> they look like in their 30s. Talent extraordinary for you, Tommy Ross. 
Any criticisms? I like that shot. Normally the background would be faded away, but now you can see them both clearly. It's beautiful. Carrie White! Beautiful. Beautiful! What the hell? The teacher is even bullying Carrie? Wow. Everyone hates that poor girl. Now I want you all to know that you did a really shitty thing yesterday. A really Thank shitty thing. Thank you. <laughs> Preach. I like the coach. Wow. A queen. Now my idea for this little trick you pulled. Refusal of your prom tickets. Oh. Period. No pun intended. But the office has decided you're to have one week's detention. Punishment for skipping detention is three days suspension and refusal of your prom tickets. Yeah, I like her. I love the coach. I'm gonna get her. Get it go, Chris. Like hell I will. One, two, What one, are you two, doing, one, Chris? Two. Well, there are ten minutes left. Stick them up your ass. <gasps> yes! Period! Like, in real life, I would disapprove. But since this is a movie, I don't give a fuck. Shut up, Chris. You're out of the prom, Harkinson. And now she's going to take revenge on Carrie? Like, for what? Like, if anyone, you should take revenge on the coach. But if you just followed the training and went to detention, you could have gone to the prom. So it's your own fault and not Carrie's. I don't, I don't get your logic, Chris. But you'll get what's coming to you. Hey. I want you to take Carrie White to the prom. I know Sue did it with the best of intentions, but is that okay though? Because if Carrie gets her feelings involved, well, you're only going to hurt her more because Tommy is in a relationship with you. Wait, John Travolta was in this movie? Is that John Travolta? It is! Damn, I didn't know that! How is she talking and sucking him off at the same time? <laughs> Hi, Carrie. <laughs> uh, the poor thing, so socially awkward. If you don't have a date for the prom next Friday, would you like to go with me? See, they stop. Carrie? Yeah, that didn't go so well. Tommy <laughs> Ross asked me. I know who he goes around with. I think I would be suspicious too in her position like they've been bullying you in this entire time and suddenly someone wants to ask you to the prom Th that doesn't make sense and that's a pretty girl look at her eyes yes oh, I'm here for this well, what do you want to know why Tommy asked her to the prom I asked him to I thought it would be a good thing for Carrie to get her to join in with a few things and be with people come on Sue we're not that stupid. Yeah, Sue means well, though. I'm seeing both sides of the story, you know. Both have good intentions. As you can. Oh, shit, her mom. I totally forgot about that. The poor thing. She seems like such a sweet girl. She doesn't deserve all of this. Nobody does, actually. Okay, okay, I'll go. Good, I'll pick you up at 8 o'clock. <laughs> I like Tommy. I like Tommy Doyle. Yeah, that's one, baby. Yeah, yeah. Damn, <laughs> that kid is psycho. I've been invited to the prom. Prom. <laughs> she thinks prom? prom. Sex? Sin? You bitch. Try and be a whole person before it's too late for me to. <laughs> That's hot tea. After the blood comes the boys. <laughs> like sniffing dogs. Wow. Is she going to piece the puzzles together? Which? Yeah, I thought so. He ended your father and carried him off. He ran away, mama. The devil tempted him. He ran away with a woman, mama. Everybody knows. Oh, T. T. Oh, damn. That woman has some issues. <laughs> Poor Carrie. She hasn't done anything like this ever. Come on, does this look nice? He looks beautiful. You can look good. You'll make a good impression for once in your life. Would you go out with me? No, with Ruffle. All right. I like this scene. This scene is fun. Don't I look sharp? Well, yeah, looks good on you, but I I don't look right in a tuxedo. How do you know? You ever put on a tuxedo? I don't have a tuxedo body. The friends are fun. Why didn't we get a lot more of them in this movie? What Tommy gave me, Mama? Aren't they beautiful? I can see your dirty pillow. Dirty pillows. They're called breasts. And every woman has. Did I lie? Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? 
He's not gonna come. Why the intense music? <laughs> Go away. Weirdo. Stop it, mom. Yeah, as Stop. long as you're hurting yourself Stop. and not her, okay? Sit down. Be quiet. Thank you. It's about time. <laughs> Look, I'll tell him that you changed your mind. Thank you. Sit there. Just Shut sit the fuck there, up. It is a mistake, kind of, but if it wasn't for the evil prank, I think it would be a nice thing. The only thing is that Tommy should have made it clear that they are going as just friends. Because at the end of the day, after prom, he goes back with Sue, so like... Hey, I'm liking this music! You know, the funniest thing to me about this is that prom is literally not a thing in the Netherlands. We couldn't care less about prom. It really doesn't matter. I don't know if it's really that big of a deal in America. Maybe back in the day, but I also think right now, nobody cares that much about prom, right? I really like the relationship between these two. It's like she actually has more of a mother-daughter relationship with the coach than with her own mother. It's nice. Just nice. No. <laughs> Like, I like being on Mars. <laughs> oh, I hate that I know how it's going to end. I feel way more for this Carrie than the one from the remake. This girl actually feels like she is really awkward and out of place, whereas Chloe Grace Moretz is Chloe Grace Moretz, you know? Okay, I have mixed thoughts about this. Damn, this is kind of fucked up. Maybe y'all can help me because I can sense if he is actually getting feelings for her or if this is all part of the plan still. Either way, this makes me like Tommy less because or he is playing Carrie or he is genuinely cheating on Sue. Take your seats please and uh, we've got to vote for the king and the queen. The king and the queen vote, oh shit. Things are about to be messy now. I feel like the emotional weight is really strong on this one because you feel for Carrie, like I'm genuinely so happy for her that she is having the best night of her life. And the thought about how it's going to end is heart-wrenching. Oh, I really feel for her. Like, look at her smile! Look at her smile! Oh. Poor thing. The pig's blood. Ah! It's building up to that moment. I give you Tommy Ross and Carrie White. Yay! Well, this is about to be awkward. Her smile. Like, this is the best moment in her life and it's about to get ruined. And what was the end game here, Chris? You would have get suspension for life, maybe even kicked out of school, your entire future ruined. So what was the point? Sue, Sue do something. I know you can't. I know it's about to happen, but uh, anyway. Do something, Sue. Scream, carry, run or something. You know, help her out. You're just like, oh shit, this is so stressful. And I know what's about to happen, it's still stressful. Oh my god. If they're all going to laugh at her... Wow. Wow. Fuck you. And to top it all off, he is going to get killed too, by the bucket. Her mom's words, this shit intense, even the principal, fuck you sir. Oh shit, this is intense as fuck. You know what, I don't condone violence in real life, but since this is fiction, fuck them kids. <laughs> You better, Carrie. You better. You better. This is just chaos overload. She electrocuted the fuck out of them. Electric chair. Yeah, you did that shit, Chris. 
She killed the coach even? Carrie is mad as hell. <laughs> the fact that the ambulance does nothing, like the girl is covered in blood, like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh damn, she got what she deserved. Bam! Ooh. Roasted, toasted, barbecue, bye! It's what she deserves. <laughs> Her mom is going to be like, I told you so. <laughs> Her mom lit up the entire house. Where is she though? <laughs> right now she's realizing I should probably take a bath. Now you're just bathing in the pig's blood. Don't trust your mama. Don't trust her. She a big cuckoo. I should have killed myself when he put it in. Technically, suicide is also a sin. So this woman is just mental. Okay, it has nothing to do with religion. Don't use religion as an excuse for your terrible parenting skills. Sorry. For the last time, the alarm bell should be wrinkling right now. <gasps> this is some symbolic shit. Like, she basically got crossed like Jesus. Crossed? I mean crucified? I don't know how to say it in English. This is great acting on the actress's part, who plays Carrie. This actually reminds me of a Greek tragedy, you know? The way it ends. It's so sad, it's really sad. And now they're both dead. So depressing. Sue was a really great character. At least she had good intentions. I know there's actually a musical about this. Oh shit! Damn. <laughs> well, that was it, guys. That was scary. It was really intense, dramatic, emotional. You really felt for the poor girl. I think Sissy Spacek did an amazing job at portraying her. An iconic movie. What else can I say? Anyway, guys, have you seen Carrie? What are your thoughts on it? Let me know down below. Like, subscribe, and share if you care. You can also follow me on my Instagram. Okay, guys, that's it. Ciao.